students one electron in the hydrogen spectrum can form that large number of spectral lines is it possible or how we can satisfy the that question students look at this this is the hydrogen spectrum and all these are spectral lines all these are spectral lines sorry all these are the orbits here electron transition taking place from second orbit to first orbit second orbit to first orbit right one transition is noticed generally in every hydrogen atom only one transition will takes place this is the first orbit this is the second orbit this is the third orbit this is the fourth orbit fifth orbit and sixth orbit that transition may be either second to first or seventh to first or fourth to fifth anything phi to 4 or phi to 3 or phi to 1 one transition or one spectral line is possible but in our hydrogen spectrums or in our explanation several spectral lines we we draw what is the reason how it is possible i am simply explain hydrogen sample means large number of hydrogen atoms 1 gram of hydrogen means it contains 6.023 into 10 power 23 number of hydrogen atoms in one hydrogen atom electronic transition takes place from second orbit to first orbit in another orbit it may takes place from seventh to first orbit in another hydrogen atom it transition takes place from seventh to second orbit so several possibilities are there if all possibilities are picked and consolidated in one point then you are getting the hydrogen spectrum for better understanding i will show the diagram of the hydrogen spectrum of the lyman series look at this here electron transition takes place from sixth orbit to first orbit here fifth orbit to first orbit and here is third or fourth orbit to first orbit and here third orbit to first orbit here second orbit to first orbit if you are placing this part of spectral line this is one spectral line if it is placed on this one if you are placed this hydrogen sample this diagram this hydrogen spectrum diagram of one atom this is the hydrogen spectrum of one more atom this is the hydrogen spectrum of one more atom then this series is called lyman series understood so it is the consolidation of all the all the possible possible spectral lines right similarly if you are consolidated all these five in one place you are getting the lyman series
that is the Lyman series. Similarly, if all the series are consolidated in one area, in one diagram, if all the lines are consolidated in the one diagram, then you are getting the total hydrogen spectrum. This is the Lyman series, this is the Bomber series, here spectral lines are colored. Why the spectral lines are colored here? Because Bomber series are their wave number or wavelength or frequency matches the visible radiation. Visible radiation is a combination of seven colors. I am placing this Lyman series. I want to place this patch on series. I want to place this bracket series. I want to place this fund series. Then this is your hydrogen spectrum. Look at this. Right? This is the explanation how the hydrogen atom contains one electron, how it forms large number of spectral lines. So, hydrogen spectrum is obtained from a sample of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is composed of large number of hydrogen atoms. In every hydrogen atom, every hydrogen atom gives one spectral line. If you are consolidated all the spectral lines in one diagram, you are getting the total hydrogen spectrum with all possible transitions. Right students, this is the explanation of the hydrogen spectrum. In the second video, you are going to link the hydrogen spectrum with the Bohr's explanation in order to calculate the wavelength, the wave number, energies of the different spectral lines. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe. Please mobilize your circle to subscribe. And please like my videos. Thank you very much.